Hey folks, welcome to this week's Wild Game Kitchen. We're here on Manitoulin Island. I'm with Cody Leeson. He's the child wellness, or sorry, nutrition coordinator for Nojima Wind Tech Health Center. Now, we're going to uh, prepare a venison stock. And tell me a little bit about that. Uh, venison stock is great for uh, when you're making soups, stews, sauces uh, that you'd be using for venison. Now, why wouldn't we use, you know, uh, a, let's say a beef stock? So if you use chicken stock, beef stock, any other type of stock, uh, you're going to get some of that beef flavor or that chicken flavor instead of all of the venison flavor that you can possibly get. Right, so you're going to be competing uh, with, with different types of flavors. Exactly. Okay, so uh, that's good to know. What, what do you do to start the preparation? So what we're going to do is we're going to take the bones and we're going to make sure that there's no uh, visible blood spots on it. Uh, so I'm just going to cut off a little bit of this blood right now. So, so if we have too much blood on top of our uh, bones, it's going to make a cloudy, kind of muddy uh, stock. Oh, it's going to darken want. it. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, we're going to use some oil. Uh, I'm using a high smoke point oil, grapeseed oil. Uh, you don't want to use olive oil because it'll get smoky and kind of ruin the flavor. Um, so we're going to use grapeseed oil, coat that. We're going to roast the bones at 400. Uh, some people salt the bones. We're not going to use salt right now. I like to use salt after the fact and uh, as I'm making the sauce or soup and salt it that way. So our bones are ready. We're gonna get them um, into the oven at 400 for about an hour or until they're all evenly brown. Today we're gonna get a few things that are gonna go well with the venison. So things that the venison might encounter out in the wild. So we got some parsnips, uh, we got some rosemary, thyme, uh, parsley probably you can see, probably not a bay leaf or peppercorns. Venison is a little bit stronger of a flavor, so you want to complement strong flavors with some more strong flavors. So you want to have nice strong herbs, nice strong vegetables. So we're ready to go with our bones. They're nice and browned up. Uh, we're going to get them into some cold water. Uh, once we get these into the cold water, we're going to add all of our vegetables. So we got onions and leeks, celery, carrots, and parsnips. Now we're going to add our herbs. Now we're going to bring this to the boil, we're going to skim off the top, and then we're going to reduce it to a simmer and cook it for four to six hours until it's nice and browned up. Actually, almost forgot, we need a little bit of tomato paste. Tomato paste has a lot of umami in it, which is that good um, meaty mouthfeel, and it also uh, provides some more brownness. All right, well, we've skimmed that off. It looks fantastic. Now, what do we do with it when we're done? So what we're going to do is probably we're going to freeze some in these large deli containers. You can use them forever. You can put it in a plastic freezer bag. Use it whenever you want to make a stock, a sauce, a soup, uh, or where you would use bouillon. If you want to switch it up and make a deer noodle soup, or you want to make corn soup, or you want to make a nice steak sauce with some uh, peppercorns, this is absolutely perfect for that. Awesome. And you know, it's gonna, it has that, that great uh, matched flavor, so we use some stronger uh, complementary uh, vegetables and, and, and spices, right, to match that flavor with the venison. And we put it in there and we can pull it out nice and easy to use. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. And you can further pair things, so things that the deer might see in the wild, so some berries, so a nice berry, uh, so blueberries uh, added to your sauce or some stronger herbs on top of it would be great with that. And it's a great way to utilize the whole animal. Uh, you maximize the number of meals that you can get. That's a great uh, learning curve and it's a great wild game kitchen. Thanks, Cody. Thanks.